we're still kind of uh, just getting the last minute gels and clicks and connections. Um, having a really good time on the court though, ba being back with the girls. Lindsay is also no stranger. So it's really nice to just kind of pick up where we left off, trying to build that chemistry again. But really, um, I guess it goes into the skills is the preparation for the next game. But kind of coming together right now is our focus and goal. F2 is really known for um, just their work, hard work ethic and their discipline. Coach Ramil really instilled that into the girls at a young age and has, you know, has carried that up to the, the professional level. Um, so yeah, hard work, discipline, um, but also like a lightheartedness that lets us all enjoy the sport, which is why we, you know, did the started playing volleyball in the first place. We talked about that a little bit the other day. Like we actually play the best when we're having fun. I just love coming here. I, I actually call this my volleyball home. It's actually where it all started for me, meaning like this is where I kind of fell in love with volleyball. Um, and really nothing comes close to the fans here. There's there's second to none, honestly. So I'm really happy that we have a game on Tuesday. Like I haven't played here um, in front of fans since 2020. My gosh. That's true. Let's go. It's another opportunity to finish what we started with that really strong F2 team back in th that we had it back in 2020. Um, so yeah, we're just, I was just excited to have this opportunity again to get another championship. And I'm really looking forward to doing that. Yeah. I think the one thing that I am kind of connected here by is my teammates. I love them so much. Like they have been a part of those special moments. So I wouldn't, I can't feel like the one that abandons them or when they can't, you know, they can do it without me. It's fine. But I love to be on the, on their side, cheering them on. I love firing them up. I love being the super glue of the team, no matter how much I'm getting paid or how many wins we get. Being a good teammate can get you so far in life. And I have felt that here in F2. It was such a heartbreaking time when they canceled the season because we had, you know, we had been together as a team for over a month. We'd done all the preseason preparation. We were really at like the top of our games going into the, you know, those first few matches. And, um, you know, we only got a couple games under our belt and I, I'm pretty sure we, um, we, well, we were successful in those matches and I'm, I was very confident with how we were going to finish that season. It definitely feels like something was left undone to me and I'm, yeah, hoping that we can finish what we started with that team. What you're looking forward to the most this conference, Lindsay? Winning. <laughs> ah. Ah. Yeah. Kale? Yeah. Yeah. Winning. Kale for you. Same. Winning, winning. Same, 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 same. same. All right. Oi. Kale, we're going to stick with you. Thing you miss the most in Philippine volleyball. Picture doll, Paul. Picture doll, Paul. Where did the picture doll? I love that. <laughs> My favorite. I missed it so much. <laughs> Lindsay. I'm like, Lindsay. yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the same, like the fans just being so excited to see us after games. Yeah, it's the best. Players to watch out for. Kelly. Lindsay Stalzer. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Akari also said the same thing. They're like, yeah. Lindsay Stalzer is going to be Ooh. someone to watch out for. Yes. Heck yeah. Just, yeah, be careful. Put your helmets on if you're trying to defend her. <laughs> of course, Calais. Honestly, that's an honest answer too. Like, she's been, she's had quite an off season. She's like, like she never left. And so I, I was really impressed with her like staying in shape and just staying on it. So watch out for Calais for sure. Um, and I think Ivy, our middle, she's uh She's Not gonna Sina. be like a yeah. yeah yeah. She could be like rookie of the year. Okay. And then for other teams, I'm excited to play against Priscilla Rivera. There you go. She's obviously a super powerful player anyway, but she likes 
she's just like expert at swiping the ball off the block. So uh, gonna have to tell Coach Buck we got to prepare for that. Yeah. Of course, Abby Maranio, she is probably one of the best team captains I've ever played with just because she is really, truly, like, I don't know what she is. She's literally a coach and a mom and a captain and a teammate and a great friend all put together. She knows the schedule. She knows what color we're wearing. She knows everything, like, uh, when my service is going to be downstairs. Like, sis knows everything. So, literally, (laughs) the leader – we go for her for energy. We go for her for that that strength, like that beast mode. So she, no, even if she doesn't have the title of captain, that's Captain Abby for sure. Most exciting player matchup. I'm excited to, for us to play Cream Line. It sounds like, you know, they're like the defending champions of the Reinforced Conference. So us going up against them should be a really good matchup. And uh yeah, that'll be a fun game for the fans and for us. <laughs> and you guys are part of the reason why I keep coming back here. You make it so much fun. Um, really appreciate all your support over the years. And um, I just ask that you come out and have fun watching the games and keep cheering for us too. I just want to say thank you so much for all of you guys' unweathering support. No matter where I am in the world, you guys are always there making sure that I hear and see you. So I really appreciate that. And I'm happy that we all get to be in one arena again and we can play volleyball because we love it here in the Philippines. And I'm really, really grateful and can't wait for this season. So hope to see you guys there.